You're going fast, eh? <laughs> yeah, this is nothing fast, you're gonna burn up. <laughs> I tried running five kilometers every day for 30 days. Why? So I currently do run, but I've generally always been someone who plods along. Speed has never really been a goal of mine until now. So can I get faster at running a 5K in 30 days? Well, I structured in a weekly time trial to find out. My first run was chilled in with my running group but the next day brought in the first test. So um, I've got the, the watch. All right, you can follow me to the start, let's go. Okay, the goal is to do the first loop semi, just like 60, 50%, and then the second loop I'll do fast. Okay, are we ready? We're going. <laughs> you're going fast, eh? <laughs> yeah, this is nothing fast, you're gonna burn out. Why is that slow down? Yeah. Okay. Well done. I know that's not fast for your standards, but I'm surprised. That was a lot faster than I thought I could run like this. Oh, sorry, I hadn't started it. You're joking. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of my first week saw me consistently pitch up, but by the fifth day, although I was enthusiastic at the start, I did pick up a change in pace. Almost at three k's and definitely running a lot slower today not feeling like weird yeah 633 definitely my slowest day out but even though i was slower i was still in the challenge however day six brought in some new challenges i am feeling a little bit strange today what i mean by that is I'm feeling a little bit nauseous and my body isn't functioning normally. It's, it feels like it's very tired and yeah, I'm just not, I'm not feeling prime, eh? <laughs> I ran in my 5Ks at a gentle pace, but my speed really took a turn at the one week mark. I think I've gotten to a point where my body is just not feeling great. Like, I, I don't know how to really explain it. I'm not tired or in physical pain but it's like my muscles are I don't, I don't it's just like giving up <laughs> yeah I think I'm gonna just walk 5k's this afternoon and give it a, a decent bash yeah. tomorrow and hopefully be ready to do the time trial now walk it out, walk it out. <laughs> never do that <laughs> I started the second week of this challenge by attempting a run with my running group <laughs> After daily smashing out 5Ks for over a week already, I decided to cut short from the group to try and reserve some of my energy. I'm almost done, five kilometers. I'm on 486, but I still have a long way to, to go to my car. So I'm gonna keep the watch running. This is definitely more than 5Ks. Long story short, I ran two and a half more kilometers than I originally set out to. Oof. Last week it was 25 minutes on the spot. I am feeling not so great today, um, feeling nervous. If you had to bet, would you say you're going to do it today quicker or slower than last time? I don't know, I think I'm going to do it slower. It's quite windy and I'm just feeling tired. The, the legs or the cardiovascular system? Um, I just think like, just like, I'm just feeling, okay, ready? Okay, go. She certainly left out the blocks like she's gonna beat last week. You go. Oh, 2504. Oh, well done. That's excellent. 
four seconds slower than the previous week's time trial. I just felt very disconnected today. If it looks like I've been hit by a bus, it's because I'm sick. My immune system took a bit of a hit, and who knows whether I should have stayed in bed, but I stayed true to this challenge and I hit the roads for a five kilometre walk. We're out for a stroll again today, a nice 5k stroll. I'm feeling a lot better than I felt yesterday and I'm glad I listened to my body because I should be ready to start running again tomorrow and it's a nice feeling when you can feel the recovery happening quickly and yeah, I needed a rest. <laughs> back into the swing of things slowly. I was able to get my jog on again. I took a chill, but I was back in the challenge of running a five kilometer, and this gave me a little extra spring in my step. Jokes, I think that spring came from having two days where I only walked five kilometers. The few days that followed were not met with much resistance. Getting out was always the hardest part, but when I was on the road, I managed to unwind and relax into my run. My times weren't anything worth celebrating, but I was conserving my energy for my next time trial. So I'm really hostile conditions today, but I've got an import. My mom has come to join. Very happy to have her here. I'm feeling very fast today, <laughs> but we'll see how it goes with this wind. It's, it's really quite, quite hectic. All right, we're starting, let's go. Settle for a wild pace. Twenty-four forty eight. Wow, in those conditions. Yeah. Was not expecting that. Well done. Well done. How did that feel? Yo, I wanted to quit after the second lap, like everything in me just felt not great. Here we go, second 5k with mom and Kate. One of my goals with this challenge was to stay fit during the holidays. I could have gone at this alone, but having my mom participate made the run a whole bunch more enjoyable. Mom, what does our 5k look like today? Well, apparently I'm doing a 5k hike. We've come down the mountain and we still have 500 meters left to go. So we're running. This was supposed to be a hike, but we're running. How are you feeling? Good, good. She's so strong. I'm so proud of you, Mom. You look good. Good morning. Here we are on another 5K. Yeah. I don't know if it's because my mom and I are each other's accountability buddies, but these runs are a lot easier when it's a shared experience. I have a surprise guest on the run this morning. Good to be on the run. Handsome husband. Check. <laughs> We're in the forest this morning getting some fresh air and forest feels. Look at this technique. Always been wonderful. Wonderful technique. Bryce just reminded me that today's the 20th, which means I only have 10 days left of this challenge. And although I haven't literally run every single day, I've walked a bit here and there, even on the runs. This forest has got a couple of steep bits and I'm definitely going to walk those. Um, but really proud that I've managed to maintain this constant running for so long. It's, it's been really refreshing. are taking over the camera today. What have we got planned? We're going on a five kilometer walk in the forest. Very excited and Margs is tagging along behind us. They took over because I felt like I was starting to get sick again. And in order to not knock my immune system too much, I opted for a five kilometer walk. And that's a wrap for day 21, five kilometers done. <laughs> 
My body felt strange at this point in the challenge because I started doubting whether my time trial in a few more days would see me reach the original goal of trying to get faster. My watch the speed. Let's hear it for 5 k's Yeah. <laughs> Time trial days are definitely my least favorite days in the challenge. I feel great afterwards, especially if I run well. And then I'm like, yeah, I'm more at fast <laughs> for my standards. know you're setting yourself up for a good 5k when your mom arrives at your house with a coffee it's it's going to be a good start to the 5k another 5k under the belt yay <laughs> Starting my baby's first Christmas with a family run was a special memory that I'll cherish for years to come. Christmas 5k, done and dusted. Merry Christmas. I've got my beautiful bouquet of family here and the man I married. And today we are going to do our 5Ks a little bit differently again. We're going to be hiking a mountain and then just running the difference at the end. two days saw me sharing more of my 5Ks with my mom. She's been a real trooper by sticking with me in this challenge. But my brother and his girlfriend also deserve some flowers for turning what was supposed to be a chilled holiday into one that got them on their feet for a few 5Ks. With the clock ticking on my final time trial that was going to be the next day, my mom and I bought in my penultimate five kilometer run. What have you thought of this challenge I've put you through with me for the last couple of days? Oh, it's been something, thank you for that. Hopefully I can get fit again. No, you I really, I really enjoyed the scenery. It's the final day today and I'm getting ready for my final time challenge. Now before we head to do my final uh, 5k time trial, I just want to say a big thank you to my amazing husband and my wonderful mom and my little boy you are my little guy if you watch this one day you did plenty 5k's even before you could walk with your mama dada and oma hey i'm so proud of you <laughs> and my brother and his wonderful girlfriend everybody who just spent the festive season with us we did so much exercise and it was just a lot of fun we had such a good time i really am lucky to have people who just want to get out and, and do things and it's it was a lot of fun to do this together and not just alone so thanks for joining me even if you didn't feel like you had a choice sometimes so so I also didn't invent this challenge just if you guys were curious I was inspired by two other creators on YouTube and I will link their videos in the description because they're brilliant video videos in their own right and I would <laughs> encourage you checking those out I'll also link a fun video that I uh, made with my husband where I, I roped him along for running 30 kilometers for my 30th birthday this year which was a lot of fun and we were very unprepared for that but it's amazing what the human body can do so I'll leave that for you to watch after this one and before we go run this final time trial it would be epic if you were up to support my channel by just hitting that like button I really feel the support, thank you very much <laughs> and now let's go do the final run of this challenge <laughs> wouldn't be a time trial without gale force wins jokes it's not the worst the wind's been it's been far worse so i'm gonna hand over this to my incredibly fast husband who's gonna run ahead of me and hopefully get me to run the fastest 5k i've ever run in my life <laughs> <That's so beautiful>. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys enough chit chat let's get this show on the road yeah okay ready 
Andiamo! Probably should have shaved my legs for this. Get some streamlined. <laughs> So you started Ooh. this challenge to keep fit during the holidays. Was it worth it? <coughs> now, well, I can't believe I did this. I'm so happy it's over. <laughs> it's been a very, very interesting 30 days. I've never filmed something over such a long time period. And I literally pitched up every single day. And I mean, they weren't all fast. Not even that like under 24 minutes is fast. I mean, my husband can run like this whole thing. And, probably 15 minutes but for me I think it's yeah I'm, I'm really proud of myself and it was a really good challenge uh, um, and I think at a different point in my life this would have seemed easy and I mean 5k's every day but I think at this point in my life where I haven't been running consistently this challenge has pushed me to <laughs> the edge of my comfort zones and yeah like putting in a time trial it's, it's just not something I, I do and it's, it's not something I actually want to take forward. I more like exercising just for fun and to move. Not, um, yeah, I, I, it's not about speed or weight loss for me. And I think this was the first time I really made speed a, a goal, a priority. And I think, yeah, am I gonna continue running 5Ks every day? Probably not. I quite like making my exercise fun. And I think I, I enjoyed running twice a week. I think I'll go back to that. Uh, but it was nice to take a break from the other exercise that I've been doing um, over the last couple of months and just just do something simple like waking up, putting on my tackies and just running from outside my door. Yeah, it's it's been a really cool challenge. Definitely, I think the, the smartest challenge to do for me over the um, festive season to keep moving. But um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be running 5Ks every day going forward. Um, but it was, it was really great and it's done and I did it. Mm -hmm. 